Hi there, Tina here from Miss Daisy Patterns. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute upcycled Christmas stocking. Now the pattern for this is available to download from our website and it's linked in the description box below as is the full materials list needed for this tutorial. So if you're interested in following along just pop over to the website, download the pattern, print it out and follow me on in. See you there. Right, so what you're going to need is one sweater. This is this is an old sweater from last year. It's got a couple of bits of stains and stuff on it that we can't get out. So we're going to use this to make the stockings. You, you've downloaded the pattern. So basically what you do with the pattern is cut it out, join it up along the dotted lines um, and tape it together. So you tape it backwards and on the back and the front. And this is what the cellar tape is here for. You're also going to need uh, scissors, thread, some needle needles and pins, um, a 20 centimeter um, piece of either ribbon or jute, anything basically that you have to hand. Um, and that's just, that's gonna create the loop that will actually hang, you will use to hang the stocking. And then to create this kind of a nice band at the top of the stocking, if you use this and it's a 40 by 16 centimeter uh, piece of plush fabric. Okay, so it's just plush fabric. Right, so now, to start with, I'll leave these at the side, we're going to take the sweater out. Okay, so this is the sweater. Now it's quite a big sweater. Um, so what I like to do is I'm just gonna watch to make sure that the pattern um, is okay. Um, so I'm gonna lay this out this way here. It's quite big, as you can see. Right, so what I'm trying to do here is, I should actually be able to get two out of this if I actually line this up here. So say we're going to take one here um, and because the pattern will be the same up or down um, I could even just flip it and take another one here. So I could get two stockings out of this. Um, right, so I'm going to start with this side and basically you start by, as you can see it's a, it's a, rather, it's a rather large jumper. Um, we're just going to line it up to the top here and we're going to pin. Right, for the moment what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fold this up just to give myself some space but obviously you've seen yourself that there's actually enough room there's enough of the jumper for you to maybe to get two if not maybe even three stockings out of this so that's it all cut out Move the pins. Right. So that's our stocking shape cut out. Now, at this point, don't ever worry if it's a machine knit jumper you can actually cut through it no problem. It's not going to come apart or ravel. Now on the other hand, if you do happen to find a jumper and it's hand knit, um, if it's a wool jumper, wash it first, it'll, it'll felt itself. Um, if not, I wouldn't advise doing this with a hand knit jumper. Right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to turn it so it's that it is facing um, right side to right side. Okay, so right side to right side. And very simply, we're going to grab our thread. I pre-threaded these um, just to make sure that I could actually uh, have them sitting here. Okay, so it's just regular thread, needle with a knot at the end of it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start back stitching all the way down. Now you can also, if you want, you can actually machine sew this as well. Um, there's no problem at all with machine sewing, but 
back stitching will hold this. Just do the stitches quite small so that they're, you're not leaving huge gaps between them. As you can see here, it's holding it perfectly. So that's the stocking completely stitched. So what we need to do next is we just need to turn it right way out. Okay, so that's it right way out. Okay, so that's your stocking right way out. Now the next thing that we need to do is we want to actually attach the bands. The band is going to sit like this around the top essentially okay so that's what the band is going to do it's going to sit here like this right so and we'll also want to have the loop sitting up here now in order to do that what we're going to do is we're going to fold this we'll leave the stocking aside for the moment fold this in half this way because we're going to sew along here and this piece of jute which is going to be the ribbon it's going to piece that holds it up is we actually place that near the top okay here near the top put this over right? and then we just need to get needle and thread right so that's the needle threaded knot at the end okay and this is near the top because when we turn it, that's where we're actually going to be attaching it. But you'll see it once it's actually turned. So what we do is we're going to stitch. I'm actually going to stitch this in place first of all. I'm going to stitch this in place just to give it a few stitches. Because it can be quite, the juice itself can be quite thick. So what I want to do is I just want to make sure that it stays there. Okay. Stitching this into place. Again, this could be ribbon, it can be twine, um, it can be a piece of yarn. It's whatever you have that you want to use. So that's fairly secured there. Right, and now what I want to do is I want to attach these all the way down. So So we're going to flip this, okay? You flip it out and you line it up like that, okay? Right, so what we've ended up with now is this, like this. And the raw edge is actually to the top and we want to match this raw edge with this raw edge. So this and this is actually going to fit together. Okay, now this is... Don't worry about it being a bit frustrating at the moment. So these have to actually be stitched together. But what we want to do is we want to stitch them on the inside. We don't want to be stitching them on the outside. So we want to stitch in here. So we grab this and this. We line them up together. Okay. And we're actually we're going, what we're going to do at this point is we're going to pin here. Okay. So we're going to pin here. And then pop this up line up the edge here like the seam here with this seam like that there and again we're going to pin you just work that all the way around keeping that on the inside again to pin Pinning and again a pin. Okay. 
Okay, so that's basically the entire thing popped together. You can see that it's inside the actual, as long as you make sure that that is inside between the two of them, you'll know you've it done on the right side. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to stitch these together. Okay, so we're going to stitch these together. So, again, needle doubled, thread doubled knot at the end, and we will start over at this side. Now you are going to be sewing through three layers, so just make sure when you're stitching that you're getting them, you're getting all of them together. Right. On this one, right. And again, we're going to be using a back stitch. So, and all you have to do is pop this back around like so. Okay, that's the top. Remove any of the fluffy bits. Okay, so as you can see, it's completely connected now at the top. All of the sewing is in the inside. Okay, and that is your stocking done. Hey! I do hope you enjoyed that tutorial as much as I enjoyed making the Christmas stocking. Um, if you did, please give us a big thumbs up on the video um, and please keep watching because we'll have a load of Christmas tutorials over the next coming weeks, um, every Tuesday and Thursday right up to Christmas week. See you soon.